right there. Yeah, this stuff's pretty easy to go on, huh? <laughs> What's that? It's blue, yeah, it's very sticky when you put it on, but yeah, so this primer is going pretty well here. We have Jax Austin here. He's got a YouTube channel, Jax, J-A-X Austin, and he brought in a pallet of roof sealer. Can you talk a little bit about it? Yeah, uh, can you come around this side? I don't know if you can see it, but liquid rubber was nice enough to donate uh, over a thousand dollars in materials. Um, I said, hey, I'm coming down to the van build. Uh, I'd like to do a, 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 you know, a good deed for somebody. I'd like to pay it forward. Uh, so we were able to find Joe right over here. 71 year old Joe, leaky roof, a 30 plus year old RV. Uh, we put uh, three, we used four products on the, the, the RV so far. <coughs> With my help of Chris from uh, Switzerland, we have the uh, biodegradable odorless cleaner. Then we use the uh, tape. Uh, right now we're doing the primer right here. And then after that, we're going to use a silicone based uh, roof reflective uh, uh, coating. And uh, we're, we're just up here having a good time. You know, Chris, I, I got a hold of him today, last minute, from Switzerland. He agreed to uh, help me out. We got Jimmy uh, helping me out also. And, uh, you know, I, don't, I really turn around and talk to Joe and see what he thinks because this is what the van build is all about. It's about helping out your fellow uh, human being, your fellow boondocker. Uh, you know, he's not in the position to climb up on the roof and do the stuff himself. This is about a $2,000 job we're doing completely for free. Well, thanks for coming and pitching in. I know it's making a big difference for these guys. Yeah. I was told it's 1600 bucks to coat this roof. I can't afford it. I've had a lot of repairs lately on it, lately, you know. And it's been hurting financially. And I just can't say enough how grateful I am. You know, I've been disabled since 82. This is my little service animal. Without her, I can barely walk at times. This is a little ladybug. She is mobility assist. A little chocolate party Merle Cocker. The Merle is unusual in the Cockers. This thing, when you first got it, it needed to be completely gutted, no? It was the original custom van. You put a ceiling in, you ran wires for the solar, We've you put the panels on the roof. insulation all in there. You've been busy. Thanks for giving this your personal attention. You've kind of adopted oh, sure. this project for the whole van build. That's all right. That's what I came here to do. Well, we appreciate it. Appreciate all the parts you've come up with. It's been fantastic. I mean, I didn't have any of these parts. So. Does she have power now? A small 400-watt uh, inverter we got. So she has power now? Oh, yeah. We've been charging our batteries. Where'd you come from to be here? Oh, Pennsylvania. You know, I knew this was going on. I didn't make it last year. I've been planning my own stuff for the past 12 months and I figured this would be a great opportunity to come out and see and meet people and, and know, work get involved because I like to be involved. I can't sit around idle as I'll go stir crazy. I know that this is making a big difference for her, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's I've got Alan and Steve and Colleen here. They are heading up the welding station getting a lot of jobs done tell us about it uh we've been having fun doing a lot of safety type things doing solar uh, battery boxes propane tanks solar boxes solar yeah. solar brackets brackets solar mounts securing uh, hitches do what securing trailer hitches oh yeah oh. there's been a, there's been a lot of safety things in Rebuilding this, rebuilding that. People land. get certain things because it, it's a money thing, and then it, it won't really do what they want out of it, and then it starts getting loose or wiggle and twisting. So we did a lot of securing and welding things permanent. Put that towards gas. And you it's been gas. working. Okay. A fun time. Thanks. We've been We're kind of behind. Me. Okay, good. But we'll make it. Just, just put it towards gas. Or gas. Yeah, I know you're burning those what? generators all day long. Oh, oh I thought he meant a welding gas. Yeah. Oh, well, whatever. Whatever's coming out of your pocket. I'm just uh, That's you guys' YouTube channel? It yep. is. Yep. ACM Arts and Adventures. So, we tell people come back so if you want to chronicle Alan and Colleen's uh, travels, there you go. 
And if you want to catch his build, which is pretty cool, you can catch yeah. that on his channel too. Yeah, I, or you could cut this if you wanted to. It might be the best build out here or the second best. <laughs> <laughs> right on well thanks for giving us a minute we'll, hey, we'll let you guys, guys get back later. to it thank All you right. guys I'm here with Steampunk Steve. He is the team leader for the fan station. So all you guys that have bought things off the wish list, that uh, those spools of wire, the Makita metal cutting uh, disc blades, the butyl tape, the die core, uh, most of that stuff is coming over to Steampunk. And uh, how's it been going so far with the fan installs? It's doing great. We've been putting in uh, four a day. So I think I'm up to about 35 so far. Uh, we only took the one day off and I got a good crew working for me and actually uh, this afternoon uh, Erin who's been sort of shadowing me and being a helper we're gonna have her putting a fan in so I had one one more installer well I know when I first started out in this lifestyle I did not have a fan and in the summertime even with the windows open it you still kind of trap heat at the top of your, your ceiling and so I know that having that fan is making a huge difference in people's lives. And some folks, maybe they can only just swing the cost of the fan, but not the installation, and they don't know how to do it. So you're making a big difference. Thanks. Everybody who comes here is afraid to cut a hole in their roof. <laughs> exactly. And I'm like, I'll cut a hole in your roof. It's not my roof. <laughs> but yeah, not a problem. You know, we've, we've got it down to a science, sort of. <laughs> what kind of reaction are you getting from folks when uh, they come in with a fan, they don't know how to do it? And bada boom, bada bing, they leave better off than when they got here. Oh yeah, um, especially people that are putting in the uh, the Max Air fans, the reversible ones, and a lot of ProMasters. We've been putting one in the front and one in the back, so they got blowing in and sucking out, and man, it's just cooling them right off. So well, I know this is your second year being here, second year running uh, the fan station, and I really want to thank you for doing that. Uh, what would you say the difference is between last year's van build and this year's van build? Good and bad? Uh, good is that carpentry is right next to us. So the, the trim pieces are put in, I go over, read, trims it down the size I want, which was a big problem for us last year. He's got the table saw, it's great. And with, them, with us all being right here, anything I need from some other station, we're close by. Last year, carpentry was way over there so i'll remember to keep you guys together moving forward yeah you know if i make a new map or if i send you the map and i didn't do it just shoot me a note well, and say hey man remember of, of everybody that's here i'm the only one who's parked in the exact same spot i was last <laughs> right. year right i went off of that bush so my guys were all we know i told greg who helped me last year and he's back i said you know where we're going to be same spot right underneath the dragon kite and so would you have anything any message for anybody that might be watching this at home couldn't come and then maybe they're thinking about coming to the van build next year or whatever uh yeah if you need something done bring the stuff and come here we'll get it done um i went in town yesterday to the laundromat and a lady came up to me and thanked me because she we she'd emailed back and forth and i told her to come here and I think she got solar installed and um, she had something else done. So, yeah, if you've got something you need doing, this is the crew that can do it. How are you liking that light? That light lights this whole area up like it's a street light, <laughs> nice. which is great because I tend to walk into bushes and stuff in the dark. Right. Cool. But yeah, that's, and it, when the dragon, when the, the, the wind dies down, my dragon kite leans up there. Looks like a giant moth hanging underneath the light. It's great. Right. All right, we'll let you get back to it. Thanks, man. Thanks. Not a problem. I've got Neil here. He's been at some previous van builds. In fact, he even did a heading down to the van build video last year. Was it last year? Yeah, I think it was last that year. You could go into uh, all the van build uh, video playlists on the channel and see. But he's been working on a trailer 
like a teardrop camper to gift to somebody here who's living in a tent, but they do have a car to pull it with. They could really use it. Why don't you give us the, the nickel tour of what you've been working on? I will give you the dime tour. Okay. But I'll only charge you a nickel. It's not really a teardrop. It's more like it's more like an overlander box. Um, but it's all half inch plywood construction, two by two, walls on the inside. Now inside here, they have a sink. And this is all, everything I put in here is all RV stuff. So if something ever breaks, they can order one and, and it's a direct replacement. So it's all easy. So there's a sink, water pump over here is a, is a standard drain. So they've got a standard drain that they can hook to. And this awning is about six feet tall if you're sitting on level ground, but it is six and a half feet wide and it is eight feet long. Okay. So someone who's in a car or a van, when this is pulled out, they can pull right up underneath the edge of the awning and they get out in the morning from sleeping in their van or their car and pop right up underneath the, right up underneath the awning. So there's the awning and uh, and this is like what I had on my teardrop. So it's on all four sides. It's got it's got aluminum poles on all four sides and, and aluminum uprights. So it's very sturdy. It's like an ARB awning. Okay. So um, it's all ready. It's on a Harbor Freight trailer, but I tagged and titled and licensed this and went through all that when I was back home. Uh -huh. So there would be no issues with them wanting to transfer it to themselves because sometimes kit trailers states don't like them but this is already has a kentucky legal title so it should transfer anywhere okay good and uh, uh and i i could have put a bunch of storage and things in here but i would have put it in the way i wanted to do it and i figure somebody else might camp differently than than me and and their storage needs so i put i put baggage door in the back here a smaller one and then around on the side it's all it's all open underneath so they can put their own storage boxes or bins or whatever they want how they want it so I kept thinking oh this would be awesome but I thought it was awesome someone else may not so so it's all it's all open underneath so under here we have a uh, deep cycle battery battery we have a Renogy uh, PWM, PMW, uh, charge controller, and a fuse box. And right down here, Jamie, I have a, yeah. I have a 30 amp breaker. It's a 30 amp charge controller. Oh, nice. So right here, I put in a breaker um, for the uh, solar panel. I made it solar ready. So solar panel plugs in right here, if I can get it out. And the solar panel's in here. So all they have to do just get where they're going and solar panels ready to go so it's it's already ready already okay so uh, solar panels in there it's got a little 40 watt panel and that runs the motor on the water no the the water the water is a uh, is one of the hand pumps. hand pump so I I put a a six block a six fuse block in here but again, I didn't run a bunch of wiring because that might be, I don't know where someone else would want things. So I ran one USB plug that's in the kitchenette over there in the galley. For a cell phone? Yeah, so if you go around back over here. Kind of tucked and hidden away, right there is one USB outlet with, with, two, okay. with two plugs. Excellent. Like I said, I could have put a bunch more in but where I might want them is not where someone else would. So now they have five more spots in the fuse block that they can put things wherever they want and make it their own. The, uh, the best part about this is that I put it out there after the van build last year because I got a new rig um, and I got an excellent deal. I got a deal I couldn't refuse on, on my new rig. I now can stand up in the morning inside and make coffee. Instead of being in the teardrop, I've got a 17 foot coach. Uh, I sold my teardrop and then I decided I would do what I would call a pay it forward project. Someone helped me out with my new rig. So I took some of the money from selling my teardrop. Then I asked my subscribers on my channel, No Legs, No Problem TV, if they would help out. And every piece like this that you see on this rig 
from the charge controller to the fuse boxes to the plugs to the baggage doors and everything the subscribers of no legs no problem tv bought all of it including this and everything else i've got i bought the trailer and i bought the wood and the subscribers bought all the fun stuff to go on it so this is funded by by uh, by my subscribers and i'm really pleased with that they just they they just demolished an amazon wish list in a few days when i said this is what i want to do and then suddenly they got it all so then i had to build it and your viewers are going to see over at enigmaticnomatics.com tell them tell them to come over there yeah. Yeah, or you guys, send them over there. And yeah, we've got I, somebody picked out that's living in a tent right now, but they have a car. So this would make an excellent compliment to that. Yes, this would be <clears throat> this would be perfect for anyone in a car. At least I think it would be. And then the great thing about this is this awning, six foot or six and a half by eight and a half, it, you can go on Amazon and you can get an ARB tent that's fully enclosed that clips onto this. So you could literally have an, a, a tent room for this also if someone wants to wants to go the extra mile they can have an entire they can have an entire setup that's almost like a mini rv soft-sided rv so this 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 awning really makes it we had it out yesterday a couple days ago while we were working on it and it was just great it, it literally all the way out to you man it's it's super long well thank you for building this i know you've been sending me text pictures as you've been uh, building it and it wasn't easy, it took time, and you've donated all of it, and you came all the way from the East Coast to yeah. to give this to somebody, which shows you've got a big heart, and I really appreciate it. Well, it, it and we'll, hopefully it'll go to somebody that'll really appreciate it and take care of it. Yeah, So Ho hopefully so. Um, and I, I do have to thank uh, Badge, uh, the Canadian mechanic. He put a lot of work into this, so, all, so if, if it needs greased or whatever, Badge took care of all the bearings and everything, helped me put it together. And then Dave Wanders as well um, came through and uh, and helped put all this together, did most of the cuts for me, and uh, um, a, a bunch of other people. If, if you go, you can go over to my channel and I'll have a list of everybody. Well, but, thanks but, for uh, putting up with Badge because I know those Canadians are a big pain in the butt to work with. It was probably what? a lot of work. Just but, having him around. Just I mean, having him around, but at least he's polite. He's 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 mean, but he's polite about it. Hey, Badge, get over here. Yeah, there's Badge. Come on over here. <laughs> Here's the troublemaker right here. This is Badge. He came all the way down from Canada to help pitch in with anybody that needs mechanical work. He specializes in diesel. We sure appreciate having him around. Thank you. <laughs> so I'd just like to say, Jamie, thank you to you for doing what you do. When I decided that I wanted to do a lot more traveling and being the way I am, I didn't know if I'd be able to handle it or not. The first year I came out, you welcomed me with open arms. So this is me paying it back to you too, giving this to you so you can give it to someone who needs it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. We'll see you again soon.